Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, um, you know, I look a little witchy today. Um, I'm, I just got the new Lime Crime cashmere and I went out of my way to go get it. I kind of don't like it. Um, at least prettier online. Anyway, so the purpose of today's video is to, first of all, wish you guys a happy holidays. I hope you guys had a great and fantastical and beautiful holiday, no matter what you celebrate with your family. Um, and let's face it, I hope you guys got what you really wanted for Christmas. So, um, second of all, I wanted to do a first impressions on a new drugstore mascara. This is the new Maybelline Lash Sensational um, in Black is Black. It is a really cute tube but if you notice from the packaging the uh, brush looks really similar to the um, uh, uh, what is it called the L'Oreal um, butterfly mascara which I had and I didn't really like care for that much but I really like Maybelline mascara so I thought I would go ahead and give it a try anyway so let's go ahead and open this bad boy up it promises for to give you a full fan effect and it's a volume mascara multiplied lashes um and that's pretty much all it says on the packaging it doesn't promise anything super spectacular um but maybelline usually has pretty good mascara so i thought i would go ahead and try it anyway so this is what the tube looks like it's a really pretty um like lavender pink color frosty frosted tube open this up okay yeah so you'll notice the brush is curved slightly and it has shorter bristles right here on the top side and then you turn it upside down and then there's the much longer bristles on the bottom um, and it's a rubberized wand not really flexible I think a big problem with um, a lot of the Maybelline mascaras lately that I haven't really liked is that the wand tip sometimes gets a little too flexible. Same thing with the Miss Manga mascara um, from L'Oreal that I tried and I did like um, but the the tip was a little too flimsy for me. I wish they would have kind of stiffened it up. Like this one seems okay. It's not like overly dramatic. Um, so I have nothing on my lashes right now. I do have a crap little liner today. Um, so let's just go ahead and do it. So I'm going to just assume you're supposed to like hold the one like this with the longer bristles on the bottom and the shorter bristles on top and then later on flip it and then kind of go through it. So let me just go ahead Let me get in closer. I kind of wiggle from the root to tip Oops, here. and then I go in. I always have a problem getting like mascara in the inner part. I don't know what my problem is. Okay. So there is some length. Nothing crazy. I do have, you know, kind of long lashes to begin with. So I'm going to flip the brush around to the bottom part with the longer bristles. And then just kind of fan them out a bit towards the tip. Kind of separate them. This is like the worst <laughs> camera to do it in. I can't really see too well what I'm doing, but we'll just go with it. Okay, so. Hey, you know what, from my, what I'm looking at, it's pretty good. There's not really too much curl, but I do have long lashes, do keep in mind, so you can see it. That is what that looks like compared to the other eye. You cannot. So there's not really any curling going on, which it didn't promise to do, just FYI, but sometimes I get excited when I see little curved wands. I think they're going to do some kind of voodoo magic on my eyelashes. So again, let's go ahead and just complete the other eye. And get hair on my face that'd be amazing growing our hair is such a bitch I say that every time and yet every time I get long hair I just get the urge to cut it off I don't know what my problem is I really don't okay so again wiggling it 
really pulling it through and then I kind of always pull out that's just my way did I get mascara? yes I did never fails nah, whatever <laughs> so embarrassing okay then going back in with the bottom like I did the other lash other eye not other lash That is one coat on each eye. So let's just for, you know, whatever sake, I usually do two coats of lash uh, mascara. So let's go ahead and do a second coat and see how that works. It does not feel like an overly wet formula, but it's not um, as dry as some people might like. I personally like slightly wetter mascaras. The drier ones kind of tend to flake into my contacts, just FYI on that. But if you're looking to hold a curl, a drier mascara is probably your better bet. Okay, so second coat. Okay, I see some, some balls. I see balls um, on the tip, so I'm going back with this side and just kind of through the tips trying to clear that up okay okay so um, it did clump a little bit on the tips with the second coat but holy crap my lashes look good I mean considering I'm wearing so much liner usually you can't see lashes and that's why you apply fakes so not doing too shabby here Okay, flipping it back, kind of going through. Alright y'all, this is the final look. Ignore the mascara smudges. Always happens to me, so there's that. I think it looks pretty good. I don't really apply mascara to my bottom lash. It's, it's always a problem for me, so we're just going to skip that. Um, so that is the mascara. This is the first impression. I like it. Um, it's a little wetter. Um, but you know, as you have it open longer, it dries out a little bit. So personal preference. All right, you guys, I'll see you in my next video. Talk to you guys later. Bye.